you guys for joining me today. Mr. Rockefeller, what do you have to say to those that accuse you and your oil company of falling victim to corruption and greed? I say that they can think what they want to think, but I'm not a victim of corruption and neither is my company. I have a very large business and I do, and I must do what I can to keep it running. So you agree to having no problem with using unfair methods to increase your profit? I did not say that, Ms. Tarbell. I am not a greedy man. As you may know, I am a philanthropist and I have given much to charity. You and your monopoly are cruel and pitiless. You are, smart, you are a smart man, Rockefeller, but you are also a hypocrite. What exactly has Mr. Rockefeller and his company done wrong, Ms. Tarbell? He has manipulated railroad rates to allow him into the market, but then raised them to keep his competitors out. His company also lowered his prices to run the competition out of business and raised them when his company had no competition in order to create a monopoly. I am by no means against your success, Mr. Rockefeller, but I am against your greed and unfair methods. Any comments on our accusations, Mr. Rockefeller? I see nothing wrong with what I've done. These are just highly effective tactics, not unfair tactics. She is just a misguided woman. You are blinded by your money craze. How do you feel about the success of your magazine series, The History of the Standard Oil Company, Ms. Tarbell? I am very happy with how people have reacted to my writing. Is it exactly what I wanted it to do to my audience, and that was to anger them, to open their eyes, and to create skepticism against the Standard Oil Company. Before I wrote the series, I did not expect much, but I am pleased and very glad I did not give up on my investigation. You are shaking your head, Mr. Rockefeller. Any comments? I gave back so much. I donated millions of dollars to charity, and everyone seems to ignore that. They, they're... There are companies that I shall not name that have done things far more cruel and illegal than what I have been accused of doing. I recognize the amount you have donated, but these are large donations. But are these large donations really out of goodwill, or do you donate only to balance out of your guilt? I understand that there are companies that are also causing unfair competition. My series are, were not, was not aimed to bring down your company, but to put an end to its corruption and to enlighten leaders about the unjust tactics that are utilized by large businesses. Why did you retire from the Standard Oil Company of New Jersey, Mr. Rockefeller? I retired but remained a stockholder. I just want to live the rest of my life giving back. I used my fortune to fund programs that involved education medicine and other scientific research. Thank you both for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> you want to get paid the same as your husband? Now with just a few campaign tactics and determination, you can receive women's rights. Not only is it the best around, but it's the 19th Amendment. Imagine being able to have a say in your government. Call 1-800-WOMEN'S-RIGHTS and receive one free. We can do it! After the assassination of our 25th president, William McKinley, a man of the name Theodore Roosevelt has been elected to serve as our president in the year 1901, with progressivism emerging as a major political movement to solve a problem of political, economic, and social inequalities. Roosevelt has a way to speak to the populist party and public with charm. Theodore started the, con the conservatism movement and has attempted to make a balanced deal for employees and their employers. He took on captains of industry and made it so that the government had more economic control, but ending with the biggest accomplishment for the U.S. President, Roosevelt has sent our Navy around the world for guarantee of peace. Thanks, Isabella. Just then, the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies just formed and is constitutional in their approach. Campaigning peacefully and used recognized political methods, such as lobbying parliament and collecting signatures for petitions. This group also held public meetings and published various pamphlets, leaflets, newspapers, and journals outlining the reasons for granting women the right to vote. As a result of campaigns, Congress is considering to pass the 19th Amendment, which will allow women to vote. Back to Amelia with the weather. On today's weather report, on April 28, 1893, a tornado hit Cisco in the Eastland County region, killing 23 and injuring 93. The brutal storm caused about $400,000 in damages. Then, on February 1895, a snowstorm hit the coastal Texas region. It was probably the greatest, heaviest snowstorm in the climatic history of the U.S. Houston and Columbus each reported a snowfall of 20 inches. Galveston had a snowfall of 15.4 inches. Snow fell as far as south as the lower Rio Grande Valley, where the Bronzeville received 5 inches. The lower valley had lows of 22 degrees Fahrenheit, the 14th through the 17th, destroying the vegetable crops. Then, on September 12, 1897, a hurricane came through Port Arthur. Many houses were demolished, 13 were killed, and damages came to about $150,000. Between June 27th and July 1st, 1899, a rainstorm centered over the Brazos River watershed precipitated an average of 17 inches over 7,000 square miles. At Hearn, the gauge overflowed at 24 inches. Estimated total rainfall was 30 inches. The rain caused the worst Brazo River flood on record. Between 30 and 35 lives were lost. Property damage was estimated at 9 million. Now back to the progressive era on channel 1890. Progressivism is arising in the U.S. It is a social and political movement that aims to solve issues of poverty, uneducated, and the effects of urbanization on a population. Progressives believe that the government can be used as an agency of human welfare. Progressivism solved many problems, one of them allowing women the right to vote. This was done through the 19th Amendment in which Congress just passed in August of 1920. Thank you guys for joining. Wait! <laughs> Do you want to get paid as the same as your husband? <laughs> Amelia, I 
laughing. No, you're laughing. <laughs> 1904, with progress, with progress. On today's weather report on April 26th, okay, not even stop. Political movement that aims to solve issues of poverty, 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 <laughs> uneducated, and the effects of urbanization and. <laughs>